Good morning, my beautiful friends. So today, well, I have this little thing that I've been doing. I'm trying to be consistent. So I, I'm either doing a mask or I'm going to sludge. Today is a sludge day. And while you're at it, you get all this goo all over you. And I'm just sitting through the morning, drinking my coffee and sludging before I get ready for work. So, um, hi everybody. <laughs> I got a lot on my mind. So it's like this morning I've got like, I don't have to leave for work until a half an hour. So, um, I thought I'd take my hair out before I start my makeup just to kind of see what's going on in case I have to do any repair. Uh, this is the second time I'm using these. These are the, it's the Conair hot roller thingers. So back in the day, I used to use them all the time, but with my hair so long, like this is like the day, like the day before I have to wash my hair. And, um, because then I like blow it out straight, but um, I didn't, I didn't, I don't wash my hair every day. What I like to do, like tonight, I'll put some uh, coconut oil in my hair and then I'll wash it tomorrow morning or um, let's see, tomorrow's Thursday. So yeah, tomorrow morning or, or I might wear it with the coconut oil in my hair to work tomorrow and wear, wear it up in a bun or something and then wash it because I have a meeting to go to tomorrow night. So um, yeah, and then my hair will be fresh. It's like one of those things that we do. Like, um, so let's see how this turns out. Okay, so first of all, I want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers. Wow, you guys, I have 137 subscribers now. Isn't that, I just, <laughs> it's funny. It's not very many. I know it's like nothing. I mean, I've got what, I don't know. My goal is 100,000. <laughs> You're right. It could happen, but I, it'll happen whenever, whatever. I'll just, I'm gonna keep at it. I know other YouTubers do this and they get there someday, but as long as I'm consistent. Look at that, that's so weird looking. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, so, um, oh, that one's weird. I don't know, maybe it'll turn out okay. Um, <clears throat> but it's fun because I really enjoy the fact that people are subscribing and commenting and the ones that are commenting are so kind thank you so much you guys it does encourage me um okay let's see i don't know about this let's see i think you know my little trick with the fingers just do the pull it apart thing shake it out I guess it'll turn out okay. I don't know. I might have to wear a hat today. I'm not sure about this. It's kind of strange. I feel like I have a halo. <laughs> I do like curls on my hair, but I gotta find a way to do this that isn't gonna drive me nuts. I just thought this would be an easy thing. I don't know. Just have to pull it up. Pull it up. I have plenty of these pull up things. So. I have one of these. Just stick it in my hair. There. That'll work for now. Alright, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to work anyways. Um, maybe it'll look better through the day as it softens out. So, I have an Ipsy box opening that I did, and, um, I didn't open the box on film. You know, that's kind of ridiculous. 
take a bunch of pictures of each little individual thing I've been holding off to use it. Hold on, I need to go, I'm back. So this is called, this one I started with, it's from Toy Factory. It's called Nina Blend. I don't know what the heck. Oh, it's a serum concealer. Nina Bl Blend Serum Concealer. This should be interesting. I'm all, with, I'm all about the concealers. If I can find one that comes in a package like this. So we'll probably use this. Um, looks like that. It matches my color pretty good. Like my face color pretty good. They, yeah. Okay, so that will be interesting. It's not as light as I like for under my eyes, but maybe we'll see. Um, this one is called, um, okay. Now we're down to this. <laughs> this one is called Flame Fighter Heat Primer. What? I didn't even really look at these. Flame fight, fight, flame fighter heat primer. I don't know what that's what what that's about. It's um, you're hotter already. It says um, I don't know. Didn't have a box. It says directions, shake well to activate our heat resistant technology, then hold the bottle about six inches away from your hair. Okay, it's, it's for hair. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm like, why would I want to put a heat, heat fighter? Doesn't say hair, heat primer on my face. I already get hot. I'm already dealing with hot flashes and all that crazy stuff. Okay, so yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so this one is called Earth Harbor and it's it's called Earth Harbor, see. And it's doesn't say what it is either. Earth Harbor Arena Biome Brightening Ample, Spirulina and Blue Tansy. So I'm thinking this is a serum. It's a serum. I've been using a lot of serums lately, so that will be nice. I do, I kind of alternate them, but I do use them. Um, for, so as you know, I'm doing a mask every day. This is a new one. This came, this came with my Ipsy Boxy. Um, it's called I, ID as Dermastic Gold Fit Mask. So maybe you'll see me in a mask one morning. This gold mask. This is a Natasha Denona palette. And these are the colors. So I'll probably do a makeup with that one day. Here's another little palette. It's called Lottie London. Soft little palette. Yeah, they got this one taped shut, I think. Yep. So I can't open that palette right now. And then this, but this is what it looks like. You can see the colors. You know. Kind of pretty and soft. And then here's, it's called East Side Full Brow Gel. And I got, I purchased this. I got this one. It's a JLo Beauty. It's, um, it's a complexion booster. It's tinted complexion booster. So I thought that would be fun to try. It's a bronzer. Ooh, that's a little shinyish. It's pretty. I might put it on my body. <laughs> I kind of like that idea. Maybe I'll just use it. 
We'll see if I like it on my face. It doesn't come across, once I rubbed it in, it doesn't come across. It's probably got just a nice light glow, but I kind of like it on my arm. All right, that's what I got for my primer. And I'm going to do a quick makeup. So lately, I've just been, because I have so much moisture on my face, I really haven't been feeling, and I already put my, um, my 100%, my 100 La Roche, yeah, La Roche Pose 100 SPF, I already put that on, I'm not putting a primer on today, because, I mean, because I got so much serum, and I put a mel uh, um, watermelon mask, a Rolonic mask on today, so I've been, because my face is so dewy, I just have been using, um, um, the last few days I've been using this, um, where's my glasses again? The, um, it's called the Loose Powder by Physician Formula. It's mineral, it's mineral powder. And I kind of like that. Um, it's been quick. So I'm gonna put that on. I've been using it with a big brush. And what's so funny is when I, I have forgot that I put this, dip this in one of my bronzer, shiny bronzer thing to do my arms and my chest. <laughs> and then when I put the mineral powder on, I put it on my face the first time. It was like, oh boy, and super shiny. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna do a light. I'm. I just don't want to take a lot of time this morning to do a lot. And I've been kind of liking it, you know, and it's not so heavy. And with all the moisturizer on my face, it kind of like sets in like a foundation. It's pretty nice. And then that way I can do my concealer and stuff over that. So, so there's that. Kind of pretty. I like this. I like this. And I thought that, you know, if I did this, it would settle into wrinkles, but it hasn't. It doesn't even, my skin looks really good because I've been moisturizing, so I'm, I'm not so crepey. And I really swear by when I did that derm dermaplaning the other day, I did it on a dry face, which is what they say to do. And I have to say, after I did that, what I put on um, a soothing mask, like a uh, hyaluronic acid mask. And then I used some aloe vera gel on my face afterwards, and it turned out so nice. So nice. So, <clears throat> I must say, um, all right. So um, my skin felt tighter and, and you know, and it's still, still feeling really soft. And I'm looking forward to seeing um, what happens over time because I, I found, I, from what, don't quote me on this, but I think you can derp, dermaplane once a week. Um, and I think a lot of it is just needs to get the peach fuzz off your face too. And I think that might be why my makeup goes on nice. Everything's just been looking better. So I told you that I got, um, <laughs> I, ha I bought this, um, I bought another one of these. Where's my little thing? Oh, the, the Vogue Pretty Vulgar bronzer. You know, it's a, this is like a matte bronzer. I like that because it doesn't have a lot of shine to it. But I had to put it, it, it was all busted up. And, and so I didn't want to bother with sending it back. I'm, I'm not one of those people that do that. So I just put it in, in this, I have a, I had my mom, it was one of my mom's, she used to put her powder, you know, with a powder puff in there body powder. We don't do that these days. But something that good for us. So I just emptied out the powder and I just put it in here. 
so then I can just use the bronzer after I use up this one, which is almost, pretty much almost gone. And um, let's see, this is what it looks like. So it's called Pretty Vulgar Contour Bronzer, whatever, matte bronzer. And let's see, what time is it? I got 15 minutes. So, yeah, so, um, I've been getting on and watching a lot of beauty guru people, the older women in the beauty platform here on YouTube. I've just been, I've, I've subscribed to some new ones. Um, forgot their names. I'm gonna put it on my list down below of who I've subscribed to recently and who um, this one named Becky she's darling darling she's funny she's a makeup she does makeup she doesn't claim to be a makeup professional neither I I can say I'm professional because I got paid to do makeup before um, I'm not one of these people that went, you know, do magazines. And I did models. I've done older women models and for photo shoots. I mean, we did this really beautiful photo shoot on one of my friends. Oh my gosh, she looked amazing. I mean, because she didn't want to look wrinkly. So what I did was I, I laid, I had, I put can't, I had her on the bed, and I had her head kind of angled back. And I put candles all around her, and not in the side of the photograph, not in the side of where you know the picture was. And so we had this beautiful candlelight, and then I, I kind of like photographed her with her head back, laying on a pillow. But um, it didn't look like that in the pictures. I made it look like she was kind of sitting up, but all of her face just looked perfect, and she looked like 20 years younger. And it was gorgeous. It was soft lighting. And now we have, you know, the kind of lights that do that, that can make it look like candlelight. Or, but I mean, the literal candlelight was gorgeous. And so um, she paid me to do that. But she's like, I don't know how I'm gonna make myself look pretty. She wanted to look pretty for an anniversary. She wanted to give her husband a really special anniversary gift. And she wanted to make a picture because he says, I don't have a nice picture of you. And so we did that and we did when we made a little book and um, it turned out beautiful. She, she was so happy. And um, she was actually a hairdresser that worked for me. So I did, I did that and I've done other women like that. And um, then their photo shoots like that. And, um, unfortunately that was years ago and I didn't save any of that. So I might have to do it again and then put it up on YouTube. Um, so if I can get somebody who will let me, who will let me. So, okay, so we're just, we just need to move along here. All right. Today's just going to be a neutral palette. Um, I, for the life of me, cannot find that. Um, palette that I bought from Amazon. It's like a, it's like a little book. It's probably in my bookshelf somewhere. It's like a book. It's like yay big and it's loaded. I may have to buy another one. It, it cost me $11.99. It wasn't that expensive, but I'm bummed because I, I wanted, I want to use it because I think I've used it in one of my, in a couple of my other videos. All right. I'm just going to do browns today. Like I, I'm kind of being boring. But um, I just want a neutral look today. I just, this is my elf. This is my go-to right now until I get more. I'm not going to do the Natasha Denona today. Um, so then I will use this and then I will take this brush. So I use this brush for this color. I'm going to take this brush for this color. I'm going to windshield wipe it in. Mm -hmm. 
I have been watching some women do makeup lately, older women, and they are just like kick butt, man. Cute, funny. Anyways, I was gonna say Becky, um, I was talking about Becky Madden. I think it's Becky Madden. You know, she was talking about, she had a hundred, she had over 700 subscribers and all of a sudden she could, she got locked out of her account and she started all over again. Now she's back up to 200 and a lot of her people are finding her. Well, it was funny cause I did subscribe to her and then all of a sudden I couldn't find her. They weren't showing her, she wasn't showing up. So I went searching for her and I found her and I'm like, well, I thought she had more subscribers. Okay, so I just windshield wiped on there. And what I'm gonna do is take an angle brush and I'll do my own, uh, I might take this little serum, whatever this serum is and put a couple drops. Okay, what I like to do instead of using my saliva like I did early on is I have this little lid to, it was a, a lid to a bronzer or something. I just broke it off because the bronzer was gone. So I just do this and then I just dip it and get it wet. That way, because I like to do that when I do the powders and I do powder um, bronze when I do powder liners because I really prefer powder for some reason because I like it. It's a softer look. And um, so today's a brown day. And if you notice, when I put my liner on, I, I always angle up slightly. I, even at the very end, I go up a little higher because what that does is it opens up your eyes. You know, you, you um, have to understand that if you put these things on wrong, you're just gonna make yourself look tired or old and older than you are. And that's not good. The whole point of makeup is to make you en enhance your features, glamorize you a little bit, you know, if you want that. So this is where I always start. If you do your, if you do your liner, start at the middle of the eye. Start here, angle it up. Like so, when you do your liner. And then I go, I work it back into the inner corner of the eye. That's how I do that. And it makes a really nice line and makes it easy because then you're not like doing this thing. Then it gets messy. All right, so then under my eye, sometimes I bring it all the way in, but for the most part, I usually like to start my line under my eye and I only like to do it close to the, I don't like a big heavy line underneath unless I'm going for a really drastic smoky eye. So I try to get a little, I go a little heavier on the edge and then I come in slightly and I get a little lighter. And then once I go in, I pretty much don't close up the eye. If I'm going to go all the way across, I will angle, I will go here. So I will just do a slight, maybe like that. I do not go all the way up and in. Okay. Cause that opens up the eye too. All right. So that's your lesson today on eyeliner. A slight little lesson. Heavier here on the corner, outside corner. Lighter as you come in and down. So there you go. Oh, I ran out of light. My mirror. I have the greatest mirror. I I I love this mirror, and um, it's the magnifier and it has a light on the mirror and it has a light on both sides. And the other side is just a regular mirror, which I never use. I always like to use the up close and personal to see what I'm doing. As you get older, if you're a younger woman, you will notice that your eyes will, 
eyesight, you'll get more farsighted. Or let you won't if you're you just can't see close up, okay? And heaven help you if you can't see far away either, and then you can't see close up. That's horrible. So then that's why those people have those glasses with bifocals, and then they can see above, and then they can read close, see up close. Oh god, that would have been. I had LASIK, so I can see far now. I was one of those people that couldn't see far. I would have to put my glasses or my contact lenses on immediately in the morning. And I just hated that. Okay, so that's that. Um, I have to get going. So no mascara today. It's just a light look, a little blush. So, Hmm. A little blush, so much for that. Oh, I have some, I have some new blush that I got from Boom Slick. This is pretty. It's called, um, it's the, it's one of her new ones. It's called Golden Peach. Golden Peach. It looks like this. I got another one. It's more per like a pink, pinky, pink, pink. I have it in my purse, but I love it as a lipstick. So, um, so that's going on over powder, of course. Um, we're doing a quickie today. going to because all this moisturizing my everything's looking smooth and nice I ain't messing around with it today because I think I look pretty good now um, so I want to thank you everybody for watching my videos thank you for commenting and giving me the encouragement and um, Hopefully this video was helpful to you today. You learned a little bit about putting on eyeliner. And um, I just appreciate you all so much. And I noticed that my kids are watching too. And my daughter said she was just really excited that I'm doing that, this. She likes it. And um, I guess they both do. And um, thank you for joining me on my Hollywood excursion vintage shopping day. That was fun. I was exhausted at the end of the day. Oh, and the chicken, the fried chicken. Guess what? It was fried in peanut oil. Guess what? I'm allergic to peanuts and all kinds, every nut in existence. I just developed that from being vegan, believe it or not, because I was eating a lot of nuts for protein. And I developed an allergy to nuts. Yeah. So be careful about these extreme diets, my dear friends. Do your research and learn about nutrition. Because I was thinking I was getting all my protein. I was, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, I was getting protein, but it was causing me problems. And um, long story short, You'll have to do your own research. Your body is maybe handles things different things than mine. Um, I do miss peanuts, so and I couldn't eat that chicken. So I ended up eating mac, uh, mac and cheese and and collard greens and um, what was it? Oh. up it was good I really wanted chicken though I was looking forward to it 
All right, thank you so much again for watching. Now I really gotta go. I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. So this morning, I got on, I know this looks so bizarre. It's called a jelly mask. It's a watermelon hydrating hyaluronic soothing jelly mask. Feels weird when I'm talking, sorry. Comes in two pieces.